Hey guys, welcome back to the Oakle Hazard Disc Golf Channel. Today I'm going to give you a quick look at what's in my bag and what I'm throwing for the rest of the 2020 season. Welcome to Oakle Hazard. We're going to go ahead and start off over here with my approach discs. I bag three zones, one very flat, very overstable Z zone. I also bag two X soft zones, one a little bit more deep than the other. These are, in my opinion, the best approach discs ever made. I also have two throwing putters. I have the Test Flight Fierce, which is just guaranteed straight line, maybe finish to the right. And then the other one I'm playing with is the new Crystal Fierce. I have just been dying to get my hands on a premium plastic Fierce, and it's finally here. Moving on to my mid ranges, I bag six mid ranges and two of each to be nice and consistent. I have two Z Buzz SS's, just a regular stock stamp one, and one of the new Bar M ones. These both fly almost identical. If you're curious about how these fly, almost identical to the regular Z stock stamp. And in my opinion, the best Buzz SS's I made. I also bag two wasps, new Hamish wasp, and one I got from a teammate, Haley King, uh, this one is a little bit older, been in the bag for a while, a lot more beat up and a lot more reliable for straight max distance. And since this one is still so new, it's very nice and overstable, great bit for in the wind. Moving on, I also bag two Meteors. I have this super old ESP, I put a little die job on it, it's very understable. Guaranteed finish right every time. I am also bagging the new Burst ESP. 2020 ledge stone and I did not want to like you know such a limited disc but man a buddy of mine gave this to me and I fell in love with it almost immediately. This is just exactly what you want out of a meteor. Moving on to fairways. I bag three vultures. They are by far my most favorite disc ever made. There's not another disc that is more comfortable both backhand and forehand and it's not that difficult to use it as a main distance driver too. I mean, I can throw these 400 feet almost every time. So I carry three of them in different stabilities. I have my least stable one I got from a couple of friends in Texas. I also have this big Z one, another one I got from Haley King. Very overstable if you're looking for the most overstable vulture uh, stock runs. Big Z is the way to go. And then I also have this ESP custom hot stamp from Discraft Underground teammate Will Go Ringer. This is just medium stability. Very, very good disc. Moving on, we have two Raptors. I have one of these Burst ESP Yuli Raptors. These are a little bit more understable for Raptors, but they are definitely still Raptors. Fantastic disc. And then I also got this uh, Z Glow one, which I hear a lot of people say are very understable. I don't know if mine's broken, but this one is very overstable. So I have the overstable, understable wrapper combination there. I also have two stalkers, uh, another Haley King disc, and I got my hands on this new ESP stalker. And right out of the bag, it flew just like a Z stalker, but I'm really hoping that it's going to beat in to be a little bit more understable. We'll just have to see as the season goes on. And I also have heats. I carry two heats. These are practically distance drivers in themselves. It's super easy to get a full flex every time. And these will surprise you with the amount of distance you can pick up with them. ESP, definitely my favorite version of the heat there is. They're crazy dummy and they just feel fantastic in the hand. Uh, my last fairway is really more of a utility and it's one of these trackers from the 2015 Ledge Stone that just came out board flat and probably the most overstable disc ever made. They're like if, uh, you know, you turned a brick into an actual disc. Just ridiculous. So overstable that if you throw them on a forehand roller, they're going to do a hyzer line on the ground. Moving on to distance drivers, I have, I don't know, this many. And we're going to start off with the slowest ones. I have two surges. One crystal flex surge that is pretty much like a fast raptor. This thing is so overstable, it's crazy. And then I have a very old Z surge that is so understable, it's 
more ember stable than a Surge SS. I also bagged two Punishers. Uh, Z Punisher, very overstable for a Punisher. I mean, maybe not very, but you know what I mean. And then a understable Punisher. These ESP, Swirly ESP Punishers are just so straight, they're beautiful. Max distance, effortless. I also bag a Zeus. I'm playing with this one a little bit recently. I tried it whenever they first came out, didn't really like them, but using them as max distance forehand discs, if I need a little bit more distance than I can get with the Punisher on a forehand, but this is what I'm throwing. And you guys have all seen them, these Hades, man. I know you're dying to get your hands on them. Here pretty soon, they'll be available for public sale. And they're awesome, they're like, a well-seasoned crank without quite so much lateral movement. They're just fantastic. Uh, best way to describe them is an effortless 400 feet. Last is the Nuke OS. This is another utility disc used almost exclusively for thumbers. In my opinion, the best thumber disc ever made. And I got one in here that I'm just kind of trying out for now, and it is a DGA Pipeline. A uh, buddy of mine gave this to me. Thank you, Matt. He insists that this is a fantastic disc that needs to make it into my bag. So, since it's his favorite disc, I decided to give it a shot. And last but not least, my putting putters. I'm using the Fierce. These are fantastic, just dead straight, absolutely ridiculous amount of glide. If you need a dead straight putter, these are your, these are your ones. And then, you know, if you live in Oklahoma like me and you got to deal with ridiculous winds, you can always pull out those X-Hop zones. Jump cut, my battery died. So, as I was saying, that's what's in my bag. That's what I'm throwing for the rest of the 2020 season. And I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you see any holes in my bag, you have any suggestions on what I should be throwing, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. And if you want to get your hands on any of these discs, be sure to visit foundationdisc.com. Make sure you use discount code Oklahizer for 10% off your order. Helps channel out immensely and keep your eyes open for more upcoming content. Thanks guys, have a good one.